In this video, we'll look at a musical example of what's sometimes called the uh, missing fundamental. We'll see that actually what's missing is the first harmonic. Uh, the fundamental will be uh, clearly uh, apparent. First, a uh, quick uh, review of pitch and frequency. Here's a table of the 12-tone equitempered tuning system used by all symphony orchestras, uh, pianos, guitars, uh, many, many musical instruments. Um, if uh, we have a frequency of 262 cycles per second, that would be C in the fourth register. Uh, cycle, uh, s uh, frequency of 523 cycles per second, uh, that would be C in the fifth register. If we included the decimals, uh, the fifth register C's uh, frequency would be exactly double uh, the frequency of the uh, fourth register C. Here's a, a pitch that we'll see in our examples. Uh, uh, A sharp in the fourth register uh, uh, has a frequency of 466 cycles per second. Okay, here's a, an example of this. Uh, we have a trumpet tone. Here a spectrogram of the trumpet tone. Here are the harmonics of that uh, note. Uh, here we've separated them out by computer. Uh, first harmonic, uh, 262 hertz. Uh, second harmonic, 2 times 262. Third harmonic, 3 times 262, and so on. Now, what's interesting is uh, that along the frequency axis, these values are like a ruler. They're all separated from one to the next by the same value, 262 hertz. We'll see that's uh, more clearly the fundamental than just saying it's the first harmonic. Um, here's, let's listen to this quickly. So when all the harmonics are playing together, we hear the trumpet note at the end. Now here's the musical example we want to look at in detail. Uh, this is a recording of the ending of a Broadway tune and all that jazz. Uh, let's hear it. Now, what's interesting is that uh, the note that she's singing there, uh, each of the notes uh, is uh, the pitch of uh, A sharp in the fourth uh, register, um, which has uh, frequency 466. 466 would be down around here, and we can see that first harmonic is not uh, visible, and in fact will show it's not audible at all. However, the separation constant separation between second and third, third and fourth harmonics is there, and that uh, is 466, and let's, we'll call that the fundamental. That is uh, corresponds to the pitch that we hear. Um, here uh, we've processed the video so that the uh, frequency band containing the first harmonic is all that we'll hear, and let's listen to this. So you don't hear her voice at all. Uh, the first harmonic is completely inaudible. Now here we've uh, processed the video to show just the second harmonic. Let's listen to this. So that's at a much higher pitch, uh, an octave above what we actually hear from her uh, original singing. Now, in this video, we have removed uh, of the band that contains the first harmonic here and left everything else uh, in there, second, third, fourth harmonics, and so forth. Let's listen to this. Oops. Let's go back. No. 
Now, that was clearly, uh, to me uh, anyway, I hope you heard it too, uh, she's singing at the original pitch, uh, uh, even though the first harmonic is completely missing. Here's the original. Let's listen to the process one one more time. One final example. Uh, now we've just got the second and third harmonics only in uh, this uh, process video. Let's listen to this. Now, a lot of the r richness of the original recording is gone because we've only got this uh, one, uh, these two harmonics here, but uh, uh, the pitch was clearly uh, uh, lower than the, uh, either one of them separately. Um, this is quite an interesting phenomenon. Uh, in the caption to the video, we'll give references uh, that discuss this uh, issue uh, further and what uh, may be uh, causing it, but uh, it's a quite an interesting phenomenon. The first harmonic uh, missing but we still hear the pitch that uh, corresponds to it. All right, thank you for watching.